Hello, my name is Cayetana, and I am a founding partner of a consulting firm which is dedicated to do project and training for innovation, which is called Let's Go. My job consists of training, and I mainly train companies and teachers. I have been giving courses for many years, and during this time, I realized that there are two types of students. There are people who come voluntarily and other kind of people who do not come so voluntarily because other people have signed up for them in this course. Moreover, all these people are adults, and fortunately, they all know how to read and write, as I always say. You all know how to read and write. So explaining text, it does not contribute too much. So I always spend time in designing these courses, reflecting on the target audience. So those people who are adults and who are giving some time here and who do not want you to read the text to them because they can already do that at home because all the information, it is already on the internet. It consists of designing this classroom, designing the space and the time they are going to spend with you so that they can learn something. Collaborative methodologies, active reflection, drawing and painting if possible, because when it comes to transferring the idea to the concepts in writing, these sensory elements are worked on using videos. I use all these kind of tools. We can differentiate between when I do a more face-to-face -face training and a more online one. In face-to-face, -face, I use a presentation, generally in PowerPoint format, or I use videos or YouTube. But when I do an online workshop, which requires much more effort because of the part of generating and keeping people active, I always try to use tools to create work groups so that they can reflect and work together. I always have to generate materials that I put on the platforms so that later in groups they have to write, reflect and force them and I force them to do that because otherwise all the attention goes away. The first element is to be a proactive person. If you don't have initiative, if you don't want to change, if you don't want to do anything, it is very difficult to be an Edu Champions person. But once you have a little leadership, a little initiative, and a little proactivity, a little desire to do things, for me, the fundamental thing is empathy. In the end, a teaching and learning process does not consist of telling people what you know. I already know what I know, so I don't have to listen to myself. I have to be able to make people next to me reflect or acquire some concepts, and not only about me, but also about the people around them, who in the end have different backgrounds, and I can learn much more from each other. You have to be able to have empathy, to be able to make it, to be able to adapt, so that all that communication is generated. And then to be able to adapt, because each person is a world, and because in the end, we have groups of people who come more proactive and others who come not that productive. And that changes you. So you have to be 